Hi, I'm Thor Sandalwood, and today we're talking about the new moon in Leo that's taking place on August 30th, 2019. And the new moon, what it represents is a new cycle of karma for us that's unfolding for the whole month. The new moon is the beginning of the stage, and then the full moon is the culmination point of that karma. So the new moon on August 30th takes place in the sign of Leo. And Leo is an important sign of the zodiac because Leo represents authority. It represents power. It represents the king or the queen. And so we really want to look at is what does this sign mean in all of our lives? Because do you have authority in your life to make the changes that you need? That's really what it's asking you for this month. Do you have the authority to make the changes in your life? Or are you going to let other people make the decisions for you? because we're being asked to become the king, the ruler of our lives. And this is so important with manifesting the life that you want. If you decide to live your life by the opinions of others, you will find that your life becomes more unhappy, more miserable. But we're being called in this new age that we're in to all be light workers and all move to following our own inner light. And that's what the sign of Leo really represents. The thing about this new moon is it takes place in the nakshatra of Magha. And Magha means the throne. So there's a double indication here. We got the sign of Leo and then we have the nakshatra of Magha. And what I really think the message for this month is the power to create the life that you want. There's a mythology in astrology of you have the sun on one hand and then you have Saturn on the other hand. And they're very, they're they're diabolical enemies. The sun represents the individual that wants to make their choices based on their inner light and not be like the rest of the crowd. Saturn represents conformity, what society expects you to do, what your co-workers dis expect you to do, what your parents want you to do. That's Saturn. And so a lot of us, we try to conform to that Saturn notion of, ooh, I don't wanna do this thing because it's gonna make other people unhappy or uncomfortable. But as light workers, we're being called to follow that inner light, to make our own choices, to be who we really are, even if it makes other people uncomfortable. And that is really having that power of that king. A strong king doesn't care if he makes the bureaucracy or anybody else uncomfortable with his decisions. And so we all have that authority in our own lives to follow that inner light. Each of us in our lives have been given special gifts that we need to share with the world. And these gifts might not be popular. They might not be cool. They might not be trendy, but it's up to us to share that light with the rest of the world and be who we really are. This is what it means to be entering this new age that we entered in 2012, a few years back is this age where we start following more of our true gifts and not just going with the rest of the herd. We're seeing this explosion of knowledge all over the globe now. People like me or you, we can make videos on YouTube. We can make our voices be heard when that, that was not possible 100 years ago. Now we're in this amazing age where we can share our gifts, our talents, our thoughts with the rest of the world. And we see our economies, everything is changing now. We're entering very scary times. If we follow that inner light, that's our true path of Dharma. That's our true path of happiness. So your life is not meant to make other people happy. Your life is to follow that inner light, share your gifts with others and uplift people in the process. And if people support you in that gift that you're sharing, those are the people that you really want to have around you in your life. So I conclude my message with this month is do you have the courage to follow your gifts and take that authority of your own personal kingdom. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. There'll be many more predictions to come. If you're interested in a personal reading, please email me at thor.sandalwood at gmail.com and I'll get back to you. Bye-bye.